Hi, friends. Well, it's not morning coffee. It's a cold afternoon here in Senoida, Arizona, on the Arizona Ranch. How cold is it? Well, I did a time lapse of the fountain thawing out this morning. I know, it looks like it's freezing. I reversed the video. Did you see the birds getting a drink? Anyway, it's cold here today. Uh, I have some bad news. Lynn lost a little ring. Very special little ring. Special to her and me, anyway. It's a little Black Holes Hills gold ring that I bought for her many, many, many years ago. And she's worn it on her little finger um, all these years. She's lost it many times before, picking up yard debris out in the patio uh, at our home in Mexico. And uh, I have gone through the trash many times and uh, found it. I have found it one time just laying in the bottom of a cupboard. By accident, I happened to see it. She was putting towels away and it fell off of her little finger. Um, as the years have progressed, it doesn't fit as well as it used to, and it just slips off sometimes, and I've encouraged her to take it off when she's out picking up leaves or something in the yard, but this time we think she was, in fact, picking up leaves and little twigs and putting them into a cardboard box, which uh, the debris, lawn debris, got pitched over the back fence here at... Um, our son Peter's ranch. Um, the good news is, well, we hope it's going to be good news. Um, we found out that a friend has a very sophisticated metal detector, and he's coming to look for the ring. I tried finding a picture of the ring, and this is the best I could come up with. It's uh, the little Black Hills gold ring on her pinky finger there. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Lynn's very upset about this, as well she should be. And um, I'm sure hoping that we find it. But I have a feeling this might be the time that um, we don't find it. I have a couple of different mixed emotions about it. Of course, I feel bad for Lynn, and I hope we do find it, but I'm frustrated. She's lost it so many times, and I have found it so many times. And I'm afraid I have loosed up my nine cat lives of finding things for her. My other uh, thought and emotion is that uh, I always bought her a ring for Christmas and you know, birthday, anniversary, and uh, that worked real good for the first 10 years, and then I ran out of fingers. and So I said, well, I, I can't buy any more rings. I ran out of fingers, to which she applied, of course, I've got toes. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's go use the metal detector to see if we can find her ring. Ooh, we got a dinger. Thing. A washer. Yeah. Well, maybe we could. Did she wear that? We could beat. <laughs> we could beat it into a ring. Here, I'll. I'll. I'll uh... <laughs> yep. Yep. And this. Oh, and you found that. Huh. Well, it's it pretty exciting when you find some, anything, right? Uh huh. Up, 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 up. So what do these different, I'm hearing three different kinds of beeps here. Yeah, it's, it's measuring the uh, conductivity of the metal. Uh -huh. so, uh, so iron can be a little bit lower, Okay. and then it goes on up to nickel, <coughs> nickel uh, then on up to silver, silver and gold. 
So, so the higher the pitch, yeah, the greater the conductivity. It actually has. It's pretty good at identifying if we do find a coin. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's a dime, whether it's a nickel, and all that stuff. Wow. We just haven't been fortunate enough to find uh -huh. one. Yeah. Well, you, you threw it out, though. I mean, you did some testing yeah. at home with yeah, the different sure coins, did. and yeah, yeah neat. Yeah, I, t I tossed a quarter in the ground and uh -huh. registered it in the quarter. Uh -huh. Wait, yet another high pitched kind of beat. Yeah. Oh, it's a dime. Oh, hey. What year? Oh, it's new. New one. I'm assuming that's what was taking that off. Well, 2005. Whew. I should have written his name on it. <laughs> 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 Give me my dime back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> You really should have written his name on it. I get five cents for that, dang it. <laughs> well. Like, yeah. Exactly. You know, there, there is a practical effect of that, however. Yes, exactly. And it, and it is that we're going to be fully confident that you have scoured it completely. Oh, certainly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. It's yeah. like we know you're not missing anything. Exactly. Exactly. So where's the $5 gold piece you threw down? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've pretty much given up on the ring. I gave it a good try, but oh, no ring. Uh, Seeing what else uh, we can find down here in the wash. Yeah, it's pretty low. That's about it. This one's kind of exciting for me. I'm just saying. Don't know why. <laughs> don't know why, but like, <laughs> there's this level of anticipation yeah. that wasn't there before. And like, I just had this little fantasy of like, kind of saying, "Well, I'm gonna come back." You look for some more of this. Whatever it is, I'm just <laughs> absolutely. It is right in there. It's probably a nugget. Careful not to give it a shovel scar. I know. It's, it's good to know there's so much history around your property here. Mm -hmm. I mean, my gosh, there's plenty of possibilities. Well, the people that owned this um, property found it. pretty much owned everything, including the rodeo grounds up there. Is that right? The whole town area. Oh, wow. It uh, a... looks like just a piece of the metal. Iron. Yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah. It is. That's registering pretty high, though. Yeah. You see that's iron? That's pretty high. I think, I think that's a silver bar, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a compact. Oh, it's a... Oh. Is it a picture frame? Oh. It could be gold. It, or is it a compact? It, it, it had a mirror, it appears. That it yeah, has. it had a mirror, there's glass yeah. in there. But, yeah. Whoa. Maybe makeup. Hey. You want to hang on to that? Yeah. <laughs> you want to hang on to that yeah, now? Clean it up, see you, what it looks like. Yeah, you should... Clean that bad boy up and. Well, you know, I'm trying to. It's got a little like wash. Yeah, like you said. Maybe a broken mirror? Could be a picture behind the glass, too. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah I think there was a be. mirror here and it broke and it's stuck over there. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but it's an old compact. That's for sure. Might have just been a pocket mirror, too. Oh, yeah, pocket mirror. Yeah. Well, that's Very a real old find. Yeah, yeah, and, and maybe a composition of something something better. Yeah, I dismissed it pretty quickly myself, but you guys, you want to hang on to this. No, 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 no. You, you're good. I, I already collect you, stuff. You, you, you <laughs> got your own collection going. Like, I can't start. That's pretty, that's pretty cool, anyone. man. That's a cool it find. Is. That's it a is. cool find. It is, yeah. I'll carefully clean it up and get to the bottom of what it is. Yeah, you, need, I mean, as far as you the, need to keep it to go along with your story. Oh, yeah. We'll Thanks. make we'll Thanks. make up a really good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we didn't have to make up one when he cleaned it up. That was silver, a silver compact. It's right. 
<laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there's just a lot of stuff around in this little spot right here. Uh, it could be gold dust, huh? Yeah, yeah no doubt. <laughs> yeah, it's just a whole dusting of it right here. <laughs> could be all the same thing. Piece of wire that goes underneath there. Does it go all the way? Th is it in the middle? Yep. Interesting. And yeah, now I really want to find oh, whatever it is. Piece of wire. That revolver. Gary okay. was talking about. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there's some discolor right there. It's like that one. What's going on? Is this just like maybe like shavings? Up, oh, up. Oh, here we go. Wah. Yeah. That's a okay. spring, leaf spring out of an old car. Oh man. Uh, put your thing down there and see if you got it. That's pretty low. That's gonna be an iron, iron range. That's, that's probably more steel right there. Isn't it? Yeah. Hey, the whole car might be down there. <laughs> yeah, that's heavy. Car, man. <laughs> that Make is it heavy. That's a cool find. That is kind of a neat find. Of course, right there. Leaf spring, eh? Ah. No, that's not. Oh, <laughs> good. I was going to be really disappointed. <laughs> you were going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're not, the one, you're not the one with the ground off fingernails. <laughs> well, this is the deepest we've dug, right? You said it was eight at the beginning, right? Yeah. Ten, ten yeah. and then it was okay, eight. Yeah. yeah. What is it, Big Jeezy? Nope. That's not a, that's, it's a rock. It's down there, Only though. Five more feet, Jesse. <laughs> this. What is it? I don't know. Check oh, that out. Oh, like porcelain. That's something you might want to keep. Oh. Uh, yeah, that does that's not like what's hitting though. That's porcelain, nope. right? Nope. It's yeah, something it looks like, like glass. It. Yeah, maybe milk glass or something. Yeah. Milk glass. That is old glass, is what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he. Oh. That's the rock. Can find the uh, rest of the milk glass. Didn't have a metal lid that kind of stuck on it. Uh, you don't want to hang on to that, Trent? Uh, no? I mean, if it was a whole one. Right, right. I'd like yeah. I, I don't want anything in okay. the whole yard. Gotcha. You have everything. Oh, man, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anything. I mean, I mean, if it's something valuable, then... Oh, right, right. Yeah, then, I might, yeah, then I might want a cut or yeah. something. You can the, keep it. The, but. the argument's going to start when it's a nugget. So. Yeah. We'll make a deal. You come back. Yeah, yeah that's, no, you, you got a great place to search here, that's for sure. There there really is. Supposedly there was a dump right over the corner here. That could there's, be all kinds of like... Yeah, there's two huge pits, like... Really? There you go. Half a square block. Oh, pit. is that it? That's Ooh, a high pitch. Shit. That's a high pitch. That is very high pitch. What is that? It's like the lid of something. So all that digging, and what do we have? The bottom of a... Looks like maybe a bottom of a containers. I don't know. Looks like a lid. Lid of a lid. metal can. I mean, I think there'd be a little more of it if it was the bottom of something. So you tested the hole again, right? No, nope. not yet. Yeah, I did, but yeah, that was it. Yeah. Well, it was right where right where the tool said it would be. Yeah. Ten inches down. And Ten inches down. It looks like iron, but it's thin. It was coming up too high on the register, right, for iron? It, it was coming up pretty high. Look at that. Maybe they use uh, silver solder to put the can maybe, together. Maybe so. Maybe yeah. so. They used the waste of my time to put that can together is what they used. <laughs> so in that 70, 80 range, what, what's the metal range on that? Uh, typically, that's going to be gold and mm -hmm. silver and, mm -hmm. you know, things that are up higher. Yeah, uh, greater conductivity, copper. <sighs> The guy digging here with the little orange pointer thingy is our friend Jesse, and he lives here nearby. He also works with Peter in the bug business. 
I'll probably be doing a video about him one of these days. He's a very interesting guy. He's the artist behind um, the successful company Shapes in Nature. Um, a lot of good things going on there. The guy with the metal detector is his first cousin, Trent. And uh, Trent's just come down for the day to help us look for the ring and whatever else we might find around here. That piece right there is the point of a railroad spike. And we are right off of the berm of the old railroad that was abandoned in 1929. Anyway, there's another place up the hill here that we're going to look for uh, the ring some more. Well, we did our best looking for your ring. We didn't find it. No. They, those two guys, Trent and Jesse, did a great job. They looked at every square inch of any possible place it could have been. Yep. Yep. Their efforts, however, were not in vain. Because it motivated you to look a little harder here in the motorhome. And I looked everywhere. I looked under the couch and under the rugs and in the bed and so everywhere I. I possibly could, by the toilet, everywhere. And then, when they didn't find it, it motivated you to think, well, it's got to be in some place that I would put my hand. Down in there. That's the bag you keep all of your glasses in? Yep. And you put your hand in there to grab it? Yep. And a ring came off. And the ring came you off. You stuck your hand in there, to, and what did you find? My ring. Let me see your ring. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. It is. That little one on your that pinky little finger. One is, that little one is a favorite of mine. Are you a happy camper again? I'm a happy camper again. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.